everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install VR Fabric Plus for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you wanna do here is go to your search bar and search up for mod Vint, like so. From there, you should see modinf.com here. Just click on modinf and you should be on the modinf homepage. From there, you want to go to the top of the website to discover content and you want to go down to mods. So all you want to do now is go and search mods and you want to go ahead and type in via fabric plus. And from there, what you will see here is via fabric plus here. So all you want to do here is click the name and this will bring you to the VR Fabric Plus homepage on Modern. And from there, you'll want to click on versions. And now, you have to click on game versions. And you have to select 1.15. And you should see the file you need. So, here we see that we need to download this file. So, how that works, we need to click the green download button. And now you're done with Modern. So, this is that easy. You just click the green download button for this mod, and that's all. So, now what you need to do now is get yourself fabric to run the mod on Minecraft. And the way this works is that you have to go on a new tab and you want to go ahead and search up for fabric Minecraft, like so. And from there, you should see fabric MC.net here. Just click on fabric and this will be into the fabric homepage. From there, all you want to do is click the blue download button. And now you want to click the download for Windows button here. And here you should have another download starting. And you need to wait for this one to finish as well. So you want to make sure these finishes like so. And once they're done, you want to click the exit button for your web browser. You're done with that. And you can go ahead and go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. What you want to do now is simply double click the fabric installer. And they should show up with this little page here. And all you want to do here is make sure you have 1.5 here. So it matches the yeah, fabric plus we have. And then you can do install. OK, and close. And now all you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher, and then you'll be able to add the mod to your mods folder. So basically the way this works is that if we have fabric loader here, all you want to do here is go to your installation tab here on the top, and you want to hover over fabric loader and go to the folder icon. From there, you will be on this page here, the dot Minecraft folder, and all you want to do is find a mods folder, once you found it, double click it and it should be empty. And all you want to do here is go to your downloads folder, you want to select and copy via Fabric Plus, and you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder. Here, once we click paste, we have via Fabric Plus in the DAW Minecraft Mods folder. This is what you want. Okay, so once you're done, all you want to do is go to your Minecraft launcher again. You want to go to play, and once you're here, make sure Fabric Loader is selected and click play. And now I'm going to show you a good example of the use of yeah, Fabric Plus with a Minecraft server, of course. So we just need to wait for Minecraft to load up and then we'll be able to use yeah, Fabric Plus. Okay, so once we're here, the way you use yeah, Fabric Plus is quite simple. Basically, you want to go to a multiplayer world, so a server. And here you'll see a new button show up, via Fabric Plus. And if you click it, it will show up with this list here of usable servers that you can download. So basically, the way this works is that if you have a server, so let me add a server, which I know is quote unquote out of date. So basically, pvplegacy.net, this is a pvp, kid pvp uh, server. And you'll see that I can't join the server because it uses an older version of Minecraft. I am running on 1.25, but it is using quote unquote 1.20.4. So if I go here, it is going to say incompatible client. So I need to basically go down in Minecraft Launcher, exit Minecraft, and go ahead and join on a new Minecraft version. Or use the VR Fabric Plus button here. So if you go ahead and try 1.24 here, you can see if it works. For example, it still says that we have a higher version. So you go back here, 1.2 to 1.3, and you do the same thing. 
still higher. And you keep going down the list until it works. And there you go. It is that simple. So basically, that's how this works. It is very easy to use, honestly. It's useful, it works. And for example, if we go ahead and go back to this, for example, and we go back from 1.21 to 1.21 and just 1.21.5, we can't join anymore. But if we go back to the one we know works and this does that, it will work here. Now, there is another option, which is the auto detect here. If you click that like that. But sometimes this does not work because it says 1.10.4 here, but it just doesn't work because it's actually low. This is why I say quote unquote. This one, this service is a bit weird when it comes to that. But I believe doing it manually just makes it easier. It doesn't take a lot of time. You just go down until it works. And yeah, that's how that works. So that is that easy to get via Fabric Plus to work. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.